Hey, welcome to another James uh, Loves Butter unboxing. Slightly different this time. We're just going to go for a quick um, sort of recap, refresh, looking back at the Gucci 1953 um, loafer. I mean, thank you so much for watching that particular video. I think we're on about 8,600 views now. Um, please, could I, um, anybody that's going back to this video or looking at it for an update or, or first time viewing, welcome. It's really good to have you. Please, could you like, but could you subscribe? Um, it's really helpful, it gets this um, upload out there a little bit more and we can stop sort of creating more content. Um, anyway, back to it, um, about six or eight months ago, we'll give or take, uh, I've lost track of time a little bit, I purchased the, um, sorry that it's back to front, 1953 horse bit loafer in black. Um, if you want to see the previous video of the complete or, or the brand new unboxing, please go and do so. Um, but I just wanted to, I, I've had so many questions asked um, on the channel regarding uh, the loafers, the fit, the size, the quality, um, going back to all the originals from years ago and the differences and all that kind of thing. Um, but my first video was really just sort of an unboxing, uh, sort of observatory view, helicopter view of that. But I wanted to just sort of get back to it and show uh, the viewers again. Uh, and, and there's been a real insurgence of Gucci, particularly the 1953 horse bit loafer since the release of The House of Gucci, which again is a fantastic film. Um, anyway, so it was the classic white box that it came in, as you can imagine, or you can see, um, not that you need to imagine, because you can see it. Obviously is the, the VIN number, the authentic authenticity, um, always imperative that that comes with that. I say the classic white box, they weren't, they didn't used to be white, they changed different seasons, but this box is white, uh, the latest release um, of these, say about six to eight months ago. Really difficult to get actually, not that easy, um, particular in smaller sizes. So the unboxing is so, you've seen them before, if you've not seen them before, you get two dust bags, lovely quality, um, like so. I've probably worn these actually within the six to eight months that I've had them probably three or four times. Um, and a lot of people have asked me about sizing. For me, the shoe, I'm a size seven um, UK and they fit true to size. The leather is very, very soft and of course it molds to your feet. But however, depending on what clothing you're wearing with the shoe, it changes for me. Um, it can depend, I, it, I, I can wear different socks with it. So I can wear a, a very thin dress sock, so to speak, um, or I can wear a thick, um, I wore my, um, what did I wear? I've got a pair of capital socks that I wore with them that are thick and I also had a pair of off-white socks, green, uh, that I wore with them that are thick. So what I've done um, is this. I bought a, uh, very thin pair of leather insoles that I can slip in depending on or dependent upon what type of sock and what outfit I'm wearing. It changes, I change with styles, fashion, um, uh, seasonal stuff, you know. Um, so I will get one out for you just to show you guys. Sorry for waffling on. So again, you get them in, the, in a dust bag, a dust bag each, two dust bags, lovely quality with the Gucci label. Um, again, Obviously, I've got them in the packaging. Um, such, again, such a, I do not regret this purchase at all. They're just such a fantastic shoe. They are just absolutely beautiful. Um, sorry if they're a little bit dusty. I hope that the video does it justice and stuff. Um, they're just so beautiful. Um, I, I know the quality of products changes over the years within Gucci and stuff, but, you know, I, I couldn't go back to 1983 or to 1953 and buy a pair of anybody that suggested that or thought that their pair from 83 was better. I concur, probably so. However, I ain't freaking Marty McFly. Um, so, there they are. Um, so, what people choose to do is get another uh, a rubber sole on the bottom. I've worn them three or four times. You can see there's a little bit of wear. Of course, obviously, it looks distasteful on camera, but I'm going to show you. Um... Potentially at some point I will get a thin um, rubber sole put on them or I may just keep them authentically and then just get leather, re you know, re in leather again. I'm not too sure yet, but like I say, I've only worn them three or four times. Um, like so. So, I need to get some shoe trees. Always invest in a pair of shoe trees. Um, so, what I just want to show you quickly is 
that's the thin leather insole. I know it's not a Gucci leather insole. I wish I could get them, I've looked. But this is, and I bought three different leather insoles to, to, to suit these shoes. And actually there was too thick or, this is just a very, very, very thin insole. Um, but of course, there we go. Hold on, one way. Gucci 1953 um, horse bit loafer. Absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah, so I used an insole. Um, wear and tear, look, I've hardly worn them. Uh, I, I just, if you want to have it, there was different colour options. There was like a brown mottled sort of tarnished and there's this, that, the other that all comes. You can get even with the bees embroidered on. But if you want to go for a classic staple uh, and you've not got thousands to throw around at Gucci, yeah, then get just a classic black horse bit loafer. You know, it, it's timeless. It will go with anything. Um, it's absolutely fantastic. And today what I'm going to try and do for you is just quickly. Oh, this may just not really work. I know we like that. I do, when I watch videos, I want to see things on foot. There is the Gucci 1953 horse bit loafer. Nice, please like my channel, please subscribe, click, click. Let's get into February, take care everybody. James loves butter.